Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got one of my paintings done. Yay! Uh, this one was sent to me by OneDaySaving.com um, it was in my September uh, PR package from them. So if you want to see the full unboxing, uh, if you look in um, One Day Savings playlist, in my playlists, uh, you will see this one. And I just think it's so cute. The four little snowmen and that gorgeous like wooden background with the different colours on it just to set them off. And then they've all got little stars on the tummies and the little buttons and the little carrot noses. I think that's come out really well. It's like an amber um, round, large round uh, gem. And then it's got all the little orange crystals around it. And then all the little expressions, look how they've come out now that the faces are the white with the black on. Uh, in hindsight, I think I would have preferred it if the arms had have been white with just the crystal around the edges. Um, it just, I don't know, it just looks a little bit odd to me, but I do love it. And I think the, it's the expressions, the faces really do stand out. And then the little red woolly hats. It is a 60 by 30. Um, so I've run out of time to actually get to a fit, start again, a picture frame to put it in. So what I'm probably going to do is put it on a piece of mount board um, and then just prop it up for Christmas so that it's uh, probably covering one of the pictures actually that I've already got up. But yeah, isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? And it's very tactile. I do like just giving it a bit of a stroke. So yeah, the price of this one as well was only six pounds. So yeah, what can you get for six pound? That's great. And if you're wanting to gift it, um, I do get my frames from um, a seller on eBay and they do do the long or thin frames, which is great because they are quite difficult to get hold of. Um, so yeah, I will be ordering one possibly for next year. Um, albeit I have got pictures that uh, are this size. So maybe I'll put those up and just swap the Christmas ones into them as I do them. Uh, it was only uh, eight different gems and colours. We have got a few specials to put away as well. So I'm going to kit those down. I've got a few specials from another kit that I need to kit down as well. So we'll put those away. But look at that. So I'm going to cut it out. Uh, ready for putting it on some amount board. Okay, just take the edges off if you are framing it you don't have to take the edges off but I'm very much um I don't like to have a nice clean edge if possible uh, the best way to cut straight lines is to keep it taut and have uh, a very large pair of scissors and I always try and cut the ends off first or the shortest edge first so when you get to the long edge you're not having to cut quite so much off uh, I don't know whether that works at keeping it straighter or not, but we'll give it a go. And if you're not very good at cutting straight edges, I'm not brilliant, then you can always sort of add a bit of washi tape um, or some glitter decoration, um, glitter tape or something like that around the edge. Right, I do like to keep uh, one little legend and the details of the canvas for my little log book so I don't throw everything away. And uh, that will go in there, so I know what I've done, when I've done it, uh, what I thought to it, and uh, what gems it had. Plus as well, this one actually has uh, code numbers on it as well. So I am going to put those code numbers on the bags when I kick them down. So we'll hopefully eventually get like a, a code um, for each gem but I'm not going to do a code card for each gem uh, what I'm going to do um, is just keep them in the colours I can't think of a better way or an easier way of finding something unless it's uh, in uh, a colour order so I'll keep that bit as well so that bit and that bit will stay together and then we'll just cut this other long edge off um, I'm not going to put it onto the mount board now because I've got like a stick and stay spray. It's from Crafter's Companion. Uh, I hope you can hear me over this cutting. I've just realised this cutting is possibly quite loud. So apologies uh, if the cutting is uh, a little bit loud. And I have got quite a loud voice as well. <laughs> I've always been told I'm loud anyway. So that's my picture cut out. 
the mount board that I have is actually a one size and because I really need to go outside to spray the glue so that you don't get it everywhere then that will be done uh, at a later time but you will see this one stuck um, in the picture frame or on the picture frame um, when I do my walkthrough of all my Christmas decorations that I've got so let's just put these little chaps out the way for now look at that little face that one's just looking up, looking for Santa, I think. This one's saying, la, 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 I'm not looking, I'm not listening, I'm doing my own thing. This one's being very bashful and saying, just hold my hand and she's saying, oh, I might do. <laughs> They're fabulous, all of them. Okay, so that's my little snowman set to go up on my decorations. Right, so let's have a look at these gems and say we don't need to put them away. So let's have a look at these, let's have a look little stickers that I've had on my canvas and on my bag keep those as well so, yeah I've got uh, hundreds of them to put away all right these are just the extra bags that I want to keep and um, I didn't use the white that they sent me I did mix in a few ABs in with that white and then I decided I didn't actually like the ABs on the face so I did end up just using standard white but I used some of the ones I already had <laughs> I do start doing things and then I change my mind. So that's a standard black to go in my black jar. That's a red. That's a special. That's an amber. That's a silver. So that will just go in my silver jar. And I've got some silvers from the other kit I did to go in my silver jar. And then I have uh, the large uh, rounds without any facets and some amber there. So I'll have a look at those in a bit. Uh, right. So let me find my jars. My crystal jar hasn't got overly full up uh, doing these this year, unfortunately, because, uh, yeah, I've um, not been doing a huge amount of diamond painting in the last couple of weeks with various things, but I am trying madly to catch up now. One day I won't be playing catch up. One day everything will just work out fine and I won't have any problems. <laughs> Famous last words. And oops, oh, let me just reach my black jar, which is again coming along nicely, and put those into there. Okay, so that's the black ones done. And I have got a white jar as well. But I'll uh, put those in it later because at the moment it's buried under stuff. And if I move it, everything might just fall over. <laughs> so I'm going to do these three first because I do have a number for these. So I need a pen and some stickers. Oops, that's everything falling over. I tell you, it's best not to touch anything really in here. Uh, yeah, things fall over. So this is my special drill storage. Uh, it is in, as I say, colour order. I have silver, gold, I think that's yellow at the back there, yep. Yeah. Uh, black, white, green, blue, pink, red, purple, um, orange, and I think that's it. So that's the colours that I put them in and then I categorise them into large rounds, marquees and teardrops and then miscellaneous are stars and squares and flowers and all things like that and then I just find it easier so say um, I need some holly berries on something then I'm going to go into red and look in at large rounds and just pull out some large rounds and then I've got all these red ones here now if I put them like into number order then one of them might be at number 10 and one of them might be at 236. So I don't find if they're actually in colour order, they are easier to find. And I think this is the way I'm going to go forward. But my box is getting very, very full. So I'm going to have to start looking for different ways of doing things. Right. So we need to be looking at these. And we have six, seven and eight. So number six is, a, well, it's gold. It's amber, but it, I put it under gold. So number six is, oh gosh, I should have brought my glasses with me. What on earth does that, I think that says. Q030. So I'm going to do a sticker that says Q030. Q030. 
and then that one is Q116 and then we have is that XO or XD I think that's XO69 right so that's those written out so now I don't need to squint at that because I've written the numbers so we're looking in gold rounds so we want the large rounds out in the gold and say we've got an awful lot of them oh my goodness and we'll see if we can match this color up and it is q030 so we're looking for large ones there they're just the gold and let me have a look let me have a look oh i'm not shuffling these oh let me put some back because i'm not shuffling these very well at all all fingers and thumbs today. Hubby's gone for his dialysis, so I've got a little bit of time just to uh, do a few bits and pieces. They're that colour, but they're a larger size. Are they those? They could be those, so I'll keep those out. And just have a look. These are ones that I've already got numbers on. Look, some of them are the craft buddy numbers. So I'm going to see if the craft buddy numbers actually match up with uh, the other manufacturer's numbers as well. You never know. There must be sort of a, a standard key code for all of them somewhere. So are these the same size as these? Do you know? No, they're not. They are slightly smaller. So I need a new bag. Grab one of my nice little bags here and I'll put those back away in the large gold. And then we want the Q030, pop that on there. And then these two gems will go in this bag. So, and then hopefully the next time I get some that are the same as these in this size, I've got a bag all ready for them. Just an extra little step just to uh, add a few complications to what I do. <laughs> right, so we're now looking for large black rounds. So we're in black and we want large rounds. Not as many of the black ones. So. Uh, they're small. Could be, oh no, they're too small. Um, oh, could be that. No, no, they're, uh, no. So we haven't got this one either. So another new one. Wow, that's so uh, unusual. Sorry, if you can hear a creaking, it is my chair, honest. It's not me, it's my chair. <laughs> so these will go in here. Okay, so that's large black rounds. And then we want silver and we want stars. So silver is at the back here. And the stars will be in, oops, miscellaneous. So that's teardrops and that's miscellaneous there. So let's have a look. Okay, just pop that up there slightly. So, oh, these are gold. Why are these gold? What have I done? Uh, okay. Gold, 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 gold. Have I put the gold miscellaneous in the wrong place? Or has silver moved? Oh, no, silver's in front of gold. Oh, I'm going crackers. Oh, dear. Just talk amongst yourselves while I just get my brain in gear. <laughs> uh, so, silver miscellaneous is here. Well done to anybody who spotted it um, and realised how silly I was being. So, I'm looking for stars in that size. So, oh, look at that one. That's a square look. It's like a like a buckle, nearly. Okay, they're teeny tiny stars. Now then, they might be. They're like snowflake ones. They're smaller again. They're no too small. So let's put these away. Put them in the right one, Liz, so that you know what you're doing. Okay, so are they that size? Yes, they are. So now these stars have a name. Yay! I name these stars QX69. There you are. So they can all go in there. Right. So that's those specials done. Pop that back in miscellaneous. Now then, I was curious to know... That's number 
four. Uh, number four is 76 and number one is four. So I was curious to know if these colours match in with the craft buddy ones. All right, just pop you out of the way for a second. These are all um, my generic crystals. So I've got like orange and blue and red. So these are ones that I've actually sat and colour matched and it's something that I just don't do anymore. Um, I need really good daylight and I need a lot of time and to be honest I just don't feel as though it's uh, worth the time at the moment maybe one day but all along this side are the craft buddy crystals and these are ones that I've actually they have a number when you get a craft buddy kit they actually have a number a crystal number on them and i was interested as i say to see if these numbers actually match up with the craft buddy colors and looking at that number four is a deep red so uh, sorry number one is a deep red and it's called number four and craft buddy actually have a deep red as a number four and yes, I think that does match up. So it does look as though if you get crystals, they are going to match into this. Okay, so I'm going to put these into here. So that is interesting to know. Somebody did send me a conversion chart um, and thank you. But I can't remember whether it was actually converting these crystal numbers into DMC numbers. I'll have to try and find the email again um, and see if it did, because if it did, that's going to be a game changer i can actually get my crystals put into color order and match them up with dmc numbers and then if i want to swap out a crystal for a standard resin or acrylic gem then i know what dmc number to um swap it out at rather than having to mess about um and color match because you know in different lights things do look different and again you do get different dialogues um from different manufacturers the same so this one uh number three uh, number four is number is that 70 could be 74 so let me have a look have i got a 74 in here the fat oh yes i have look there's number 74 and yes it is the same color so that's brilliant because i hate color matching crystals i have to say uh, no, I don't hate it. Hate is too strong a word. It's one of my least favourite jobs, shall we say. It's one of those things that you do when you think, oh gosh, you know, I could be diamond painting rather than doing this. <laughs> uh, but I quite like uh, tidying up. I've got a, a mind that does like to do these quite tidy things. So that's put those away. So that was really, really good. I've actually put all those away now with a number on them. Excellent. Okay, so any canvases now that I get a special drill that have numbers on, I'm going to do it this way and try and match them all up. Yay! Right, so just pop that one back over there again and then we'll do the other bits and pieces. I've just dropped that on the floor. Right, these are all numbered bags. What I'm finding so that I can kick down properly, um, I do actually put numbers on my little bags now. Um, or I use the numbered bags that come with the kits and then uh, I can uh, check the numbers so I'm not having to write on the bags as such. So that's number 10. I was just thinking I had two number ones then. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. <laughs> and pop those into there. And then I know that this 12 uh, goes up to number 12 in this and then I keep them all in a, a little pot. And if I think, all right, I've got a picture that's got 12 colours, I can just pick that out and use those. Excellent. Right. So I've just got these a few extra little ones to put away. Um, so let's just grab this box here. So these are from a previous kit that I was doing. So my other way of kitting down rather than using numbers, uh, I want red, gold, blue, pink and pink. Actually, they might be in orange. So let's see. So where do we start? Let's start with the gold stars. Put those that way around. So 
gold at the back, Liz. We had hold of the gold stars before. And they're my keys, they're teardrops, and that's gold and miscellaneous. We picked them up instead of the silver ones, which was a silly thing to do. So we want the little gold stars. And I think they are that size. Yes, they are. So they will go in with those. So miscellaneous. Oh, no, I haven't got any more golds, have I? Uh, oh, that's yellows. So I don't want to be in that one. That's it. That's that pocket there. Okay, so let's put those there and those there. And do that. So that's those that I've put away. And these have got numbers on, but I haven't got the numbers underneath. But I keep them anyway. Anything with a number on, I keep. Right, so now we want uh, pink, which is at the front here. And we want large rounds. And they're just sort of like one size up from your standard crystals, these. They're not a huge round. They're just a sort of a, a little bit larger round. So let's see what we've got. This is where I come across all my hot pinks as well. Oh, look, and I've got one of those there sat there as well. So I have got those in pink. So I'll put that one in that bag of hot pink. Are they that colour? They could be that colour. And we've got that colour as well and that colour as well and that colour as well. Oh, that's not going well, Liz. So I will have a look at those. Why have I got so many bags? See, my brain works differently on different days. <laughs> so I tend to put things in different places. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let me put these uh, into this one. So you're not lonely, little friend, anymore. You now have some little friends to join you. Yay. So pop those into there. Go on, out you get. That's it. It was a bit reluctant to get out then. So that's those. Right. i just pop those on one side a moment. So that's too dark. That's too dark. That's too dark. And it's this one I'm trying to match up. Oh, my goodness. So let me look again. I think it's that colour. But yeah, it's that one. So, yeah, although I look like I've got all the same, they are actually, when you look at them closely, slightly different shades. Oh, hot pinks, loving the hot pinks. Yay. <laughs> okay, so come on, join your friends. That's it. In you go. Okay. We want reds, so we want large reds, and I'm sure we've got these because these are pretty standard for uh, holly berries and things. So we just pop those there, and we want like a medium ish size, could be that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, could be that one because there are two shades in those. I realize, uh, oh, there's that one as well. And, yeah, they're two different sizes. So, if I live to be 300, I don't think I'll ever really use all these gems, but I do like to have them all. All right, so that one's got... Why have I got three bags of these? Are they different shades or not? Ah, now then, that's the difference. They haven't got any facets on. And they have, and they do look the same. I wonder why I've put them separately. Mm. I'm going to put those together because I think they are the same. So let me just, that's a craft buddy number on these. So it would be, oh, it's Y, isn't it? It'd be interesting to see if any of the X numbers or the Q numbers cross over with craft buddy. But yeah, so they haven't got any facets on and sorry, these haven't got any facets on and they have. So that's why they're in different bags. But there you are, they will go into there. Go on, I'll put you get it. That's it. And then finally we have a little blue one. So blue large rounds. I've got a spare bag there. Large rounds, large rounds. 
Oh gosh, I've got lots of large round blues. I think I'm going to have to maybe split them up into aqua and different coloured blue. Because I've got a lot of them. Look, oh, look, that one's all on its own. Just one on its own. Oh, uh, no different colour. And, ooh, different colour again. Possibly. A, B, coatids and solids and, oh, I love all these. Yeah, it's a very, very pale one. And that's a blue, blue. And no, so unless it's that one, it will have a new bag. Okay. Pop those back into there. So let's see. These maybe look a bit more greeny than those. No, they are different. So it is going to get a new bag all to itself. I think the blue large rounds actually are the ones that I've got the most of. Which is strange when you consider like gold and silver, but I suppose there's so many different uh, shades of blue and aqua. So we'll pop him in there, and that is that one done. All right, so it just leaves me to now go and put this onto a piece of mountain board. It's got a bit creased actually, um, so I might just leave him to flatten out a little bit, put something heavy on him. Actually, I might just pop these on top for now. Yeah, that's my. So I've got my two different coloured boxes. All my special drills are in these, apart from the crystally ones, which are in these, which are the standard size. So, and then all my resin and acrylic gems are in this colour as well. So, yeah, just try to be organised. It doesn't always work. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little chat and just seen how I spare, spare, store, store is, speak English, store uh, my special crystals. If you have, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions in the comments down below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'd love you to come and join our little family and come back and see what we get up to next. So if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.